All right, guys, welcome back. Um, there's nothing really new that we're covering today. We're just going to do some more practice with proofs. Instead of doing a Google form, um, there's a delta math that I'm going to have you do. Uh, now, this is going to work pretty much the way the other one did. Um, they, the way you input your answers is a little bit different. So like in this case, say you want to say some sides are equal, you click that. You type in, you know, A, B, and B, C, obviously not correct for this particular proof. And then you choose your, your reasons for saying that they are correct. All right. Um, and this is going to be a mix of CP, CTC, and congruent triangles. So just be on the lookout. Don't assume that it's one or the other. So there is one thing I want to warn you about. So actually, it's actually kind of nice. You can actually highlight these so you can see exactly what they're talking about. So if we were looking at this particular problem, we might notice that there's a, a vertical angle here. And so we would choose um, that two angles are equal and we type in our angle letters, EDA. And it won't punish you if you don't have them in the, well, you just need to make sure that the, the vertex is in the correct place when you're choosing your vertical angles. And you can actually even start typing in vertical angles and that will show up here. All right, and you, can, you can hit try. And once you, if you get it right, it'll show up. If you get it wrong, um, it will tell you why that's not the correct reason for your proof. Now, notice here, I do have some perpendicular lines. Um, now, let me just kind of show you how they do perpendicular lines so you're, you're not confused. So if I know that those two lines, AE and CE are, or EC are, are perpendicular, then I know that they make 90 degrees. So they actually take this in a couple steps. So the first thing that they do is that they'll say, you need to classify an angle. You need to let the, or say, classify that, that the angle is a right angle. So angle E is a right angle. Why do I know that? Well, I know perpendicular lines form right angles. So I try it out. All right, notice how it puts a perpendicular or a 90 degree angle here. Let's do the same thing. We've got a right angle for F here. Same reason, all right, uh, double click there. All right, so we've got our right angle here. Now you might think that we go, um, well, let's, let's go ahead and try angle side angle here and see if it works for us. So let's, um, I, think, I think it's not, let's just double check though, AED is congruent to CFD making sure we got those in the right orders. And I would say this is angle side angle, correct? Let's try it out. All right, so notice I have not proven enough sides or angles congruent. And here's why. Even though I said E is a right angle and F is a right angle, I actually need to say that they're now equal to each other. So say I wanna go back a step. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this X up here that's gonna let me go back a step. And then I'm going to say that the two angles are equal to each other. So I'm going to say E and F are congruent. Why are they congruent? Well, let's take a look through our list. Um, all right angles are congruent. That's what we're going to look for here. So that's a spe specific reason, one that we haven't quite talked about. That's technically right. Um, we've kind of taken some shortcuts doing our proofs to keep it simple. So technically, we do want to say all right, ang all right angles are congruent. So notice now I have the angles marked as congruent. So now I could say that the, the triangles are congruent. Um, notice this classify a triangle. Let's say that this was, um, instead of having vertical angles, we had right angles and a side and a side, and we had HL. They're going to ask you to classify the triangles as right triangles before you use HL. So that's another kind of half step that we didn't really do, just in case you get caught or stuck. Now, look, guys, I think it's only three, whatever it says on Delta Math, you only have to do a few of these proofs correct, and there's no penalty for getting them wrong, okay? So don't feel pressure to, to get each step exactly right. You know, if you make a guess and you get it wrong, it's going to give you some hints. There's also a video here. If you get stuck, you can click watch the help video, all right? So hopefully this makes sense, and I just want you to practice with this, interact with proofs on a little bit of a different level than what we've been doing so far, and get you a little closer to writing your own proofs. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, and hopefully this works well for you.